We continue to preview the 2023 college football season. Our stop today is Haver, Montana. We get to visit with Jerome Sowers, who is the head football coach at MSU Northern. Coached the lights last year, 0-10 coming in. That was your first season with the program. I know you are a longtime head coach, and so it's a, a different uh, challenge there in Northern. So talk a little bit about the spring as you come out of last season. You're re- getting ready for your second season with the program. Our, our first season was tough. You know, there's, there's no escaping that, you know, going on 10 was, was, uh, was difficult, you know, part of the journey, but uh, one that we uh, uh, was necessary. And we started our program last year, uh, about a year and a half ago now. And we had 22 guys in the classroom. So we, we uh, it's actually 21 because uh, we didn't have enough to go to on each side of the ball uh, or be able to put 22 guys out there. So, Last year's spring was really limited. In fact, you know, we really couldn't do much of anything. Uh, basic movements, basic lifts. We were very young and experienced. Uh, we lacked, you know, uh, uh, a lot of strength and uh, immaturity. And so, combine that with lack of game experience, and it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of learning that happened last fall. I was most proud of the, the team last fall from the way that they competed to the end. They didn't quit and never gave up. They were able to focus on their jobs and learn how to do their jobs better. Uh, I think we were improved toward the end of the year, maybe even the last game. But I think that's been the strongest achievement so far is just developing an attitude of improvement. And every day is a chance. We don't get those days back. So, so now we find ourselves, you know, a good year and a half into it. And the guys that have been here, those original ones, are excelling very well. They're, they're just, uh, uh, you know, a year and a half in the weight room. Uh, we lift differently, perhaps, than they did before. Uh, but it's uh, it's really shown well in the weight room. And this last spring, we got a chance to see it. So we surround our defense on our team around team captain, uh, Dylan Wampa, Coulter Simoniak. Coulter's a D lineman, and, and uh, Dylan's a, an inside linebacker. And, and uh, both those guys have shown outstanding leadership in helping us change the culture of the program. We are a player-run program. We want, you know, leadership in place. We want accountability in place. And, you know, a lot of the things that will lead to wins later are being taught now. So we enter season two, you know, with a, uh, you know, an additional 35-plus student athletes, a lot of young guys. So we, uh, we'll be young again. But I think we've uh, increased our talent base. Uh, we've increased our depth, uh, being a year stronger uh, and having a better idea as to who we are and what we're doing. You know, I, I expect to see much improved uh, performances this fall. Coach, talk about that a little bit. If you look online, you see your roster. I mean, it is clear what you're talking about. It is a younger roster, you know, specifically from the, the standpoint of classification. Uh, you'd be hard-pressed to find a senior on the roster and, and a lot of younger players. Take us through your offense a little bit and, and some of the players that, that may see time, some of those that have grown then and may be seeing time on your offense this season. Well, you know, our, our offensive line was the uh, really struggled last year. We had a lot of young guys playing before their time. We actually moved a couple D tackles over to play offensive line. So our old line looked kind of like a D line, which was uh, a little bit, uh, you know, uh, lacking at times. And so we've added numbers. They have, uh, you know, ways to go to get themselves conditioned to learn to play the college game. And that's a, that's a difficult position. And this conference runs a lot of different teams, a lot of different looks. So the O-line has got to be tight. Philosophically, we, we want to run the ball as effectively as we throw the football. We want to be a balance. And, uh, you know, some days if it's if it's calls for it and running the ball more is the way we're going to do it, that's how we'll do it. And, and obviously, if they're giving us a passing game, we've got to be able to take what they're giving us and, and do that effectively and efficiently. And, and, uh, and that's probably where the least experience we have is on our offensive side of the ball. So... So we have a lot of growth to go there in those positions. We have two quarterbacks right now, Oakley Cop, who has played here before, came back to the program, and Dante Mayuri, who's a transfer. And those two guys have been taking the lion's shares of the reps, and, and they're the older of the, the position group. And then uh, we build off, uh, you know, we had uh, uh, Devin Shelton, who is a receiver. He's 6'6", and, and uh, you know, a 215-pound basketball player that can go up and get the ball. But, Last year was his first year college ball, so he had a lot of learning to do and and, uh, and has improved. And some of the guys we picked up in the offseason, I think, have a chance to add to our offensive perimeter. So a lot of development yet, a lot of practice. You know, we uh, uh, we have to look at every week as an opportunity to get better at that side of the ball. And if you look at our production, you know, I, I know that we will we'll be uh, improved in, in all categories there. 
We're speaking now with Jerome Sowers here on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you, please continue to enjoy the videos here. We are previewing the 2023 college football season. We're talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, you mentioned Dylan Wampler as one of the captains on the team. He was an all-conference performer for you last season as well in that linebacker position. So tell us a little bit about the defensive side of the ball. He's been a previous all-conference All-American you know, before we got there. Uh, Dylan is just uh, really fit into the defense we're running and it's uh, you know he brings experience and a passion and love for the game that's really infectious I think he uh, you know he's he's very comfortable holding his teammates accountable in addition to himself and that's the kind of leadership you need they they not only play the part but they know how to command the respect of their teammates and and uh, that's not easy to do so I'm excited about the leadership on the team and uh, the way these guys function Defensively, you know, we like to be balanced. You know, we feel like if, you know, some days if pressure is the, you know, the way to go and, and the best way that we match up to somebody, that's how we'll play it. And, and some days you don't match up well. If you get somebody hurt in the secondary and you got to be able to play discipline zone to win a game, then you got to be able to do that too. So we've been working on just fundamentally being a better overall football team, uh, improving our capacity to, to create production. And when we, when we get, get our own unit squared away, then we'll, we'll have to be able to play complementary football where the offense is helping the defense and special teams are setting up both. And, uh, you know, that, and then we'll, then we'll see what kind of team we have when we see all units playing together. And uh, I, I see the, you know, camp is one segment of the season. I see our first four games as a second phase of our season where we have a bye week and then we uh, come back, play Carroll here at home. Which is a you know the defending conference champion and and the playoffs, and, and so we, that'll be the last stretch of our our uh, of our season. So we kind of have it breaking up into thirds. You know, right now we're in the the August preparation mode. Coach, if you will, really quickly, I, I do enjoy mentioning the the opening to the season, August twenty sixth. You all are at home taking on Mayville State out of conference, and then another out of conference game. The the season with the Frontier conference uh, even with a, a new addition in arizona christian this year still a, a duplication of some games so you're going to get to book in the remainder of the season with rocky mountain but the first one is going to be at home and it's out of conference and then you talked about that bye week and you get to introduce arizona christian to the frontier conference and well i say you get to introduce them you get to go down there and 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 visit them but it's uh, the first opportunity there for them talk about the opening then and that 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 particular segment of how you've broken it down well, our, our, our first game against Mayville State, and I, and I, you know, they return a lot of players. Their quarterback and receiver core is, is as good as you're going to find in our conference. So they're they're uh, very proficient throwing the ball, and their numbers back it up. And if you pl- sit there and just play pass, and they got a good enough running game, that they're going to penalize you for it. So we have a lot of respect for what they do, you know, uh, and their, their, their potential capacity as a team this fall with as many guys returning. Uh, I know that their record last year wasn't very strong. They're similar to us in, in uh, their developing, emerging program. And so I think it'll be a great test for us early, great test for them and, and uh, see where things are at. And then we play uh, at home again against Rocky, which will you know, introduce us to Frontier Conference play, even though the game doesn't count as a conference game. It's a conference game by all, all our standards. So we approach it the same way. And, and then we play Pacific Northwest Christian College who's an emerging two-year school that's, that's going to be a four-year school. And, uh, and we needed a 10th game, and they're, they're similar to us. they got to have a lot of young guys and, and a lot of emerging players. So, you know, that should also be a, a better matchup uh, than coming out and playing a Carroll or a Tech or a Western right out of the gate. So, uh, and then we come back. Uh, I'm sorry, we play Arizona Christian and, uh, after that. And that completes our first segment, the first four games. And so even though one's a scrimmage, we're going to approach that like a game and we're going to play it like a game. And, and uh, you know, we're working very hard to, to teach our guys the kind of habits and the practices that expect, you know, that are going to create wins for us. And, uh, and that's going to be the hardest part is, you know, creating a winning attitude where all of our habits and everything we do are going to give us that kind of production in the fall. All right. Coach Jerome Sowers, longtime coach, uh, and I appreciate what you are doing there at MSU Northern. The lights look to be under good leadership and uh, a program that is growing now in in your second year and uh, your staff's tenure there. Coach, thank you so much for previewing your team and taking some time with us today here on Midwest Sportsnet. Thank you, Joey.